welcome to the course on mechanical vibrations we were discussing the concepts of forced vibrations and today we will be solving numericals on to the forced vibration characteristics so the first problem statement given as a 75 kg mass is mounted so mass is given as 75 kg on a spring stiffness of k is equal to 11.76 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter and the assumed damping of factor is zeta 0.2 a 2 kg piston within the machine has a reciprocating motion with a stroke of 0 0.08 meter so stroke is given as 0 0.08 meter mass of the piston is 2 kg and the speed rpm is given as 3000 cycles per minute now assuming the motion of the piston to be harmonic you have been asked to determine the amplitude of the vibration of the system that is x and how much amount of force is transmitted to the system so we need to find out the value of x and force transmitter so for this we require various terms so first of all we will calculate omega n which is given by under root of k by m so k is 11.76 into 10 raised to 5 divided by mass is 75 kg if you are doing the calculation we are getting this as 125 radians per second omega is 2 pi n upon 60 so 2 into pi into 3000 divided by 60 so this is 100 pi radians per second so the ratio of omega by omega n that is 100 pi divided by 125 is 2.51 and they have given m mass of the piston we are assuming that m0 as the mass of the piston and to get the eccentricity that is equal to crank radius we have to divide the stroke length by 2 so this becomes 0 0.08 divided by 2 so 0 0.04 meter so from this you can calculate m0 e upon m so m0 is 2 e is 0 0.04 upon m is 75 so we will get it as 10.67 into 10 raised to minus 4 meters now we can calculate the magnitude of the force f0 as m0 e omega square so this is equal to 2 into 100 pi square into point 0 0.04 so the magnitude of the force we are getting it as 7900 newton so for getting the value of x you need to use this equation that is x by m 0 e upon m this is equal to omega by omega n square upon under root 1 minus omega by omega n square full bracket square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n square if you are putting all the values and you are solving it the students are requested to put all the values and try, try to get the value of x. So, the value of x we are getting it as 0 0.00125 meter, which is equal to 1.25 meter. For getting the force transmitted value we have to use this equation ftr 
divided by F0 is equal to under root of 1 plus 2 zeta omega by omega n square upon 1 minus omega by omega n square whole bracket square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n square. If we put all the values, we are getting FTR as 2078 Newton. So, this is how we can get the value of capital X that is steady state vibration amplitude and how much amount of force is transmitted to the ground. Let us see another numerical. The students are uh, requested to go through the numerical problem statement. So, the problem statement is like this. A vibration platform of a railway stations are having periodic frequencies ranging from 12 hertz to 50 hertz. A vibration measuring instrument is to be installed on the same foundation independently of that of platform. So, basically whenever it has been given a range, you need to consider the fundamental frequency as the excitation frequency. So, here we will assume that 12 hertz as the frequency. So, we have to get the omega value, you have to multiply it by 2 pi. So, we are getting it as 24 pi radians per second. Then a vibration measuring instrument is to be installed on the same foundation independently that of the platform. The small foundation is supported on four identical springs. So, we are having the four identical springs onto the platform. So, students are requested to take a note of this. So, the total mass of the instrument and the foundation is found to be 50 kg. So, mass is 50 kg. What is the maximum value of the spring stiffness? You need to find out the value of k. So, this will be the together value of stiffness for all the springs. So, how much of spring stiffness is needed? if the amplitude of transmitted vibration is to be less than 10% of the platform vibrations over, over a given frequency range. So, you need to have the ratio of transmissibility that is displacement transmissibility x by y lesser than 0.1. So, we are assuming that it is equal to 0.1 and they have given damping factor zeta as 0.2 and you have to assume the system is single degree of freedom system. So, we know the formula for transmissibility ratio. So, it is given as 1 plus 2 zeta omega by omega n square upon 1 minus omega by omega n bracket square whole bracket square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n square. So, students are uh, requested to uh, solve this for the value of omega n by omega n. So, if you are solving this, we get the value of omega by omega n as 4.72. So, from this, if you are assuming omega as 24 phi, we can get the value of omega n as 24 pi divided by 4.72, so which is 15.974 radians per second. And now we know what is omega n that is under root of k by m. So, to get the value of k, you need to have this as m into omega n square. So, omega n is 15.974 square into mass is 50. So, get it as 12.76 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per meter. And now, to calculate the stiffness of each spring, you need to divide this total stiffness k by because we are having 4 springs. So, 12.76 into 10 raised to 3 
divided by 4, we are getting this value as 3.19 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per meter. So, this is another type of problem wherein all the transmissibility ratio constraints are given and you have been asked to design the vibratory system which is having this much amount of stiffness. Let us see the next numerical. So, the next numerical goes like this. A vibrating body is supported by six isolators, each having stiffness of 32,000. So, stiffness, we are having six isolator and each having stiffness of 32,000 Newton per meter. And six dash pots. Also, we are having six dash pots having a damping factor as 400. So, 6 into 400 Newton second per meter. The vibrating body is to be isolated by a rotating device having an amplitude of 0 0.06 mm. So, it needs to be isolated which is having amplitude as y is equal to 0 0.06 mm. And the RPM they have given as 600 RPM. And mass of the system is 30 kg. And they have asked you to find out the value of X. So, to get the value of X, we need to find out some of the terms. So, first of all, you need to find out omega, which is 2 pi n upon 60. So, this is 2 into pi into 600 divided by 60. So, this is equal to 62.8 radians per second. Similarly, you need to find out omega n that is under root of k by m. So, we are having k as 6 into 32,000 upon m is 30. So, we get it as 80 radians per second. Now, you can get the value of zeta as C by 2 under root Km. So, we are having 6 into 400 divided by 2 into 6 into 32,000 into mass is 30 kg. If you are doing the math, we are getting it as 0.5. And now, we know the formula of x by y, which is equal to under root of 1 plus 2 zeta omega by omega n square upon 1 minus omega by omega n square whole bracket square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n square. So, you know all the values. The students are requested to get the value of x. So, x by y, if you are calculating, this is equal to 1.4549. And if you are multiplying the value of y to it, we are getting the x value as 0.087. Mm. So, this is the steady state amplitude which is present when the excitation frequency is 62.8 radians per second or the RPM is 600. So, with this we have come to the end of this session. Thank you.